2015 will go down as the year that Evolve champion Timothy Thatcher became the face of WWN. But his crowning moment at the end of the final Evolve event of the year became his darkest hour. Let's look at the journey of Timothy Thatcher in 2015. The first half of 2015 saw Thatcher prove himself as one of the top wrestlers in the world with epic contests against the likes of Roderick Strong, Tommy End, Chris Hero, TJ Perkins, and Drew Gulak, among others. Thatcher reached his pinnacle when he defeated Chris Hero at the WWN Super Show, Mercury Rising 2015, and what many called the best match anywhere on WrestleMania weekend. He then used that momentum for a breakout moment when he answered Broderick Strong's challenge and drove him out of the ring to close the biggest wrestling weekend of the year. Thatcher did see ups and downs with big wins, but tough losses to the likes of Kulak. It all culminated on July 10th at Evolve 45, when Thatcher defeated Drew Galloway in an impromptu Evolve and DGUSA double title match to win both championships. The double champion earned the respect of the fans, critics, and his peers in the ring, but personally became more of a mystery with his loner attitude in the locker room and refusal to embrace social media. Thatcher proved to be a fighting champion. He even issued an open invitation for the undefeated Davey Richards to return to Evolve to challenge for the Evolve title. He showed high character, but also a dangerous streak. Two moments to find him. Evolve 47 saw Thatcher do something Drew Galloway refused to do when Galloway was double Evolve and DGUSA champion. Thatcher answered Johnny Gargano's request and retired the DGUSA Open the Freedom Gate title. In fact, Thatcher took respect to a new level when he gave the belt to the two-time champion Gargano feeling it was Gargano who truly personified that title. The next night at Evolve 48, Thatcher showed a different side. Biff Busick had become Thatcher's most hated rival after injuring Thatcher's ear at Evolve 42. This cost Thatcher several weeks of action. It intensified after Evolve 47 when Busick insulted Thatcher, causing Thatcher to tell him he would break his thumb. Thatcher in a vicious act without remorse, did just that in a no-holds-barred match against Busick at Evolve 48. It was the last time we saw Busick in a WWN ring. The second half of 2015 saw Thatcher's title reign continue to gain momentum with each passing defense. But Thatcher's top rival, Drew Gulak, was always lurking. Thatcher has never defeated Gulak in a WWN ring, while Gulak holds victories over Thatcher. It all led to the final Evolve weekend of the year, a weekend designed to determine the true face of WWN going into 2016. Thatcher signed to defend the Evolve title at Evolve 51 against Johnny Gargano, the man who built WWN. Thatcher was also signed to face Drew Galloway, the competitor who held the Evolve title for a year and took it all over the world in an on-title match at Evolve 52. All three could claim to be the face of WWN, and after this weekend, one would rise above the others. After he successfully retained against Gargano, in the spirit of Chris Hero granting Drew Galloway an Evolve Championship match at Evolve 31, and Drew doing the same for Thatcher at Evolve 45, Thatcher agreed to an impromptu championship challenge from Drew, and Evolve officials endorsed the match for Evolve 52. In the greatest weekend of any champion in WWN history, Thatcher defeated both Gargano and Galloway in two matches for the ages. However, his glory was short-lived. Drew Gulak orchestrated a brilliant setup, manipulating the fact that Thatcher was unable to connect with anyone in the locker room to be his ally. An impromptu tag match was supposed to see Gulak and TJ Perkins, who had an issue with Thatcher after their team dissolved at a ball 49 against Thatcher and Matt Riddle. Only Riddle who is focused on winning the Evolve title and using it as a stepping stone, quickly turned on Thatcher. This led to Gulak, Perkins, Riddle, and Tracy Williams joining forces against Thatcher. They weren't looking to simply make a statement through a four-on-one attack. They were out to humiliate the proud champion to end the year for Evolve at Evolve 52. Riddle, a successful UFC fighter, was going to break Thatcher's arm at Gulak's command. Gulak told the champion to tap or suffer an injury that would knock him out of action for months and force him to relinquish the title. Thatcher had no choice. 
In the moment he was supposed to stand up on top of WWN as the face of the company, he was beat up and embarrassed. Gulak and company had stolen Thatcher's glory. As we head into 2016, Timothy Thatcher is the face of WWN, but he is faced with numerous challengers, rivals, and enemies. While Evolve Management puts him in a super team with Zack Sabre Jr. for the Evolve Tag Team title tournament in January, Thatcher finds himself more isolated than ever as the bullseye on his championship grows. 2015 saw Thatcher climb to the top. 2016 will be the true test to see if he can stay there. 2016 will be the toughest year of Timothy Thatcher's life. 